G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to predict the AFL final series. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, it would be amazing if you could click the subscribe button. All your support means the absolute world to me, but let's get into the video. All right, here we go. The 2022 AFL final series predicted by the prediction master himself. I never get my predictions wrong. I don't know whether to pick with my heart or my head in this tipping video. But I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick with the best of my knowledge and we'll see how we go. So Geelong versus Collingwood, I did tip the Pies to finish last and they haven't finished last and I've been, I've been told all about it in my Instagram DM. Geelong could get the victory in emphatic fashion. It could be a bit of a piss take. Um, the false economy Pies could rear their head. The dominant Cats could really make a statement, win by 60, 70 points and go straight into a prelim. Or the Pies could create an absolute scrappy affair, fight tooth and nail, and it be close. I think either way the Cats win. I think the Cats will win this one. I know the Bulldogs fans think I hate them, and there has definitely been a little bit of tension since the grand final, but regardless of tension, <laughs> <laughs> and regardless of past histories, I think given on this year's form, Freo get it done. Pretty flat this year to their own standards, which is okay. Um, they've got a good young forward line and they'll probably bounce back next year. Um, so don't sue the bloke who's talking on your YouTubes at the minute. Uh, but yeah, I think at home, over at Optus, Freo have to get that done. They just have to. The Lions and the Tigers. Now, David King said that the Melbourne versus Brisbane round 23 game has some of the biggest finals ramifications in finals history. He said that home and away game was so, so, so important to win. And that's the game that the D's won by 10 goals. <laughs> he said it was important because the winner probably hosts a home qualifying final with a double chance and the loser probably faces the Tigers in an elimination final. So the ramifications were massive for that contest. So here it is, it is the Lions taking on the Tigers. I just get the feeling the Tigers get it done. I get the feeling the Tigers get it done. I'm interested to see how far I think the Tigers will go in this final series, but that Richmond Football Club is starting to hum this time of year and it's super exciting for the whole competition, but I think Richmond get it done. Melbourne and Sydney, given past sort of results uh, between these two teams over the last few years. I don't think this will be more than 15 points either way. Um, it's gonna be a contested, tough, scrappy game. It'll resemble the Carlton and Melbourne game, the round 22 game, I reckon. It, it'll be sort of low scoring, tough, and it'll come down to the last couple of kicks. I'm gonna tip the Ds at home though. I feel like we're starting to get our mojo. I feel like we're in a little bit of form now. And geez, I'm just praying they can get it done because a home prelim final would be awesome. So the Pies and the Dockers at the MCG, I think the Pies will be too strong. I think the Pies will be too strong against the Dockers. Uh, the Dockers have been very gallant all season. Is that the word? Gallant? Gallant. They've been gallant all season. They've improved. They probably should have finished top four if they had a... Uh, beating the Tigers in that draw. Um, so a little bit disappointing to end the season the way they did, but they are set up for a big campaign over the next three years, the Fremantle Football Club. The Swans and the Tigers, that would be an absolute ball burster of a contest. The game that they played earlier in the season where Chad Warner reefed the footy over the, uh, over the roof and people were saying that should have been 50, uh, that came down to the absolute wire. I'm pretty sure the Tigers were in front for majority of that contest before the Swans pipped them at the end. This is a tough one. This is a really tough contest to call. Uh, it could. This is flip of the coin. This is real flip of the coin stuff. The Tigers or the Swans. Um, Anyone could win this. I don't think the Swans go out in straight sets. So I'm gonna say the Swans win. Um, especially at home at the SCG. I think it would be crazy to say that the Swannies that have produced some good footy this season go out in straight sets. And I don't think either team goes out in straight sets. So I think my predictions is the top four uh, will be the top four going into the prelim final. 
which is very, very exciting. The Cats and the Swans, this is anyone's game. I reckon, I reckon the Swans match up to the Cats as well as any other side. Um, I can't remember their result earlier in this year. I think the Swans beat them. I think the Swans beat them at the SCG. So I think this is flip of the coin stuff. I think this is a prelim that is under 10 points. I think it's anyone's game, but I, th I think I have to tip Geelong. Um, I think I'm going to tip Geelong considering the year they've had and the footy they've played, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's an upset in the prelims. I reckon it probably should be Geelong and Melbourne make the grand final in my head. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if one of them don't. You heard it here first. But in this prediction, I'm going to tip both of them to make it, I think. I think the Ds are seeking redemption against the Pies. The Pies have beaten them twice this season. And I think the Ds get it done. I think the Ds get it done against the Pies. I wonder what sort of contest that'll be. The young Collingwood football team... Do they fade out in finals? Are they inspired by finals? Um, if they have to play every game, is it one of those ones where they limp to the prelim because they have to play an extra game? Um, who knows? I, I just think the Ds will be humming at this point of the season and they'll get the job done against the Pies. I can't believe, like, if I... If I I'm going to get to go to some massive finals this year. Imagine the vlogs. Like, the last few years, especially over COVID, I couldn't go at all to many games let alone the finals. I missed out on a qualifying, a prelim and a granny. I missed out on three MCG finals last year, including a granny win. So it's going to be such a privilege, even if they don't go all the way, even if they just make, even if they go out in straight sets, it'll suck. But just to go see my team at the MCG in some big finals, it's something I've never really seen before, barring 2018. I've only been to two finals in my life. So if I get to, you know, go to Swans and then the Pies and we win both, geez. That'll be the end of me. All right, here's the big one, the Cats and the Ds. So it has been um, pretty interesting growing up in Geelong as a non-Geelong supporter. Um, anyone you ask who doesn't go for Geelong in this town can't stand Geelong. I guess that was probably driven by the success that they had and um, the non-success that I guess the Ds had, but it's I can't really describe it unless you live in a town which is dominated by one team and the media is dominated by one team and and the supporters are dominated by one team. I guess you'll never really understand it, but yeah, everyone who doesn't go for Geelong, who lives in Geelong, hates Geelong. We were, we were a horrible side for a long time and the Cats were making grand finals for fun. And now we've clawed our way to the top of the ladder and the Cats are still there. So it's a credit to that football team. The culture that they've created is amazing and it's something that I've really wanted the D's to do in a similar fashion and I know we're only sort of two or three years into our sort of stint of attempting sustained success but I just pray that we can um, emulate something that the Cats have done over the last few years because they've been amazing anyway I'm going to have to tip the grand final I think I'm going to tip the D's with my heart I'm going to go with my heart and tip the Melbourne Football Club I think our back end of the season has been inspirational. We have had the hardest fixture, which you would expect after winning the Premiership, and we have come out of that fire rock-hardened. Iron sharpens iron, and we've come out of that rock-hardened. We've had some amazing wins. We've had some amazing losses where teams have thrown everything at us. I think we've been getting every team's best since round, I don't know, eight or nine. Like any team we've come up against have been super tricky to finish. So I'm gonna tip the Ds on the back of they are prepared for this. They are rock hard, they are ready. So that is it for my finals prediction. I've clearly gone with my heart. Um, if you're going with your head, you'd probably pick Geelong. They've been the best team this season, but finals is a new season. Crazy stuff can happen. And it could be any of that top four in the grand final, to be honest. Um, I'm not convinced I've got any of that right, but that's just what I've tipped. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are tipping. I'll see you all for some more content very, very soon. Cheers, guys.